Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I am the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today I will review Lindbergh's 1932 Chevrolet pickup in 132nd scale. This is kit number 72139. This model is a skill level 2 kit which means that you will need paint and glue to put it together. Looking at the box, the two called out features of the kit are detailed chassis and detailed tires. This is rather unusual because this kit includes many other detailed items that would make a good selling feature, like the excellent wood grain pickup bed and the seven piece interior. All pieces of this model total 41. The box recommends that you should be 13 years old and up to build this kit. I do believe that a very apt 8 year old could assemble this kit with supervision. There are two things of note that are strange about the car pictured on the box. First off, on a real 1932 Chevy, the entire radiator shroud is chrome, as are the little doors on the hood and the band around the firewall. Secondly, I cannot find reference that Chevy ever made a pickup like this. Uh, however, in the mid-1930s, at the height of the Great Depression, people were buying or trading coupes and roadsters and removing the entire back end to re replace it with homemade pickup boxes for use on the farm. This model kit may have been based on one of those cars. This is what you will see when you open the box. This cute little model is nicely wrapped in a plastic bag. Instructions and in clear plastic glass are underneath. These are all the parts of the model. Unfortunately, there are no chrome plated parts, but you could always paint those pieces with silver paint or use a chrome product like Alclad or bare metal foil. The instructions are easy to follow, include a small paint chart, and show exploded views of the assembly steps with well written directions in French and English. The paint chart and warnings are also written in Japanese, German, Spanish, Italian, and Dutch. Although there is no engine included with this kit, you do get a two-piece removable hood. If you are a big collector of 132nd scale model cars, you could always find an engine, cut off the oil pan, and glue it in place. The underside of the fenders show the detailed chassis. If you paint the inside of your hood flat black, you probably won't notice the lack of an engine when you turn over your finished model. A front and rear axle assembly finishes off this area. One thing to look out for on this kit is the amount of mold marks. The small circles must be removed for realism and to resolve part fit issues. As an example, there are four of these circles under the pickup bed that interfere with the rear fender to body fit. I remove these with a sandpaper block. Finally, the model suffers from seam lines and flash or thin excess plastic that gets squeezed out between tiny gaps in the two-part mold process. A seam line is shown here, marked out with a black sharpie. You can easily remove these with a hobby knife and sandpaper. Through some internet research, I discovered that most of Lindbergh's current 132nd scale models were bought from a company named Palmer that went out of business in the 1970s. That means that these kits were probably made in the 1960s. All in all, for a model kit that is a repop from 50 plus year old molds, this kit still holds up well. I think that in the future I will buy another and convert it for my slot car track. If you like 132nd scale kits or want a quick build as a first model or to use it in a diorama, then I recommend this kit to you.